Hi, and welcome again to a catechist. My name is Nick Slayman. I'm a pediatric critical care doctor from the Alfred I. DuPont Hospital for Children in Wilmington, Delaware. And as you can see behind me, a catechist is really innovated. So they've created a 3D working model of the heart and they've set up these color-coded platforms so that we can jump from one to another to get multiple views from the outside of the heart as well as within the heart. So what we'll do is we're gonna start with a very basic physiology tutorial and talk about the flow of blood through the heart as well as some of the structure and a little bit of the function of the heart. In future lectures, we'll talk more about physiology, electrophysiology, the mechanics of the heart itself, as well as some congenital heart defects. But for today, we're gonna to start very basic. So in this heart, we have the open sectioning so that you can see the inside. But you can imagine from this lower chamber, this right ventricle, a pipe coming up so that the right ventricle is not very thick and not very muscular. When you compare it to the left ventricle that has to pump out of the aorta and under enormous resistance all the way to the fingers and toes, it's much thicker, it's much more muscular. And that'll come into play when we talk about certain heart defects, in particular, the hypoplastic left heart syndrome. The left ventricle and the structures in the back of the heart are closer to the backbone. So right under the breastbone, think of right ventricle. Left ventricle, think of that towards the back, towards your spine. Again, compared to the right ventricle, the left ventricle is thicker, tougher, stronger, can really eject blood all the way out to the fingers and toes. And where's it gonna eject that blood through? Well, it's gonna go through this tricuspid aortic valve. So oxygenated blood needs to be fed to the heart at all times to keep the pump going. When those, blocked ar when those arteries become blocked, that's when you have myocardial ischemia or end up having what most people refer to as a heart attack. Angina, chest pain, followed by usually lethal. Aortic.